Hey folks, welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Harsh and in this video I am going to tell you about free resources which will come in handy for you if you are preparing for the TensorFlow Developer Certification. The TensorFlow Certification is a testament to developers who expertise in machine learning. The certification program essentially consists of an assessment examination developed by the TensorFlow team. The first resource on the list which you can use is the Introduction to Deep Learning course by MIT. MIT's course as the name suggests is an introductory course taught by PhD researchers. The course consists of videos and review papers same as those are delivered at MIT to the MIT students. And this course takes around 24 hours for a learner to complete. The course focuses on applying deep learning to natural language processing, the computer vision and more. The next on the list is an introduction to machine learning by TensorFlow course available on Udacity. The three month Udacity course is taught in collaboration with Kaggle and AWS. This course will provide you hands on experience with deep learning models. It will also enable you to apply TensorFlow, TensorFlow models with advanced techniques and algorithms to work with large data sets. The next on the list is introduction to TensorFlow flow for AI and ML and the deep learning course present on Coursera. This is delivered by Google's legal AI advocate Lawrence Moroni. This 30 hour course is designed for people with no prior knowledge of TensorFlow. It however requires learners to have a basic understanding of Python and high school mathematics. Post completion you will be able to use TensorFlow principles to build and apply scalable models for addressing real world problems. The next on the list is convolutional neural networks in TensorFlow course present on Coursera. You can opt in for this course after completing the introduction to TensorFlow for AI, ML and deep learning course. This is a 26 hour long course. Post completion you will understand the tools required to build an artificial intelligence powered algorithm and understand the best practices for using TensorFlow. The next on the list is the natural language process in TensorFlow course present on Coursera. This is a 14 hour long course that teaches you about working knowledge of artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning. Post completion you will be able to build NLP models using TensorFlow and help processing text including tokenization and representing sentences as vector. The next on the list is the sequence time series and prediction course present on Coursera. This is a 13 hour long course which is the fourth and final step of courses training on TensorFlow. Post completion you will be able to know how to implement best practices and to prepare timed series data. Apart from the mentioned courses, you can also practice in Kegel competitions which will help you track your progress on what you have learned so far. The platform has many courses on natural language processing, neural networks and computer vision. And after completing these courses you will also receive a certificate. The last one is a 42 video series with the name of Coding TensorFlow available on YouTube. The video ranges from 4 to 8 minutes and are taught by different instructors and uploaded by the TensorFlow platform. The videos explore the significant dimensions of computer vision, natural language processing, neural networks. It helps solve problem by training machine learning models and allowing learners to build these models on the TensorFlow platform. So these were free of cost resources that you can use if you are preparing for the TensorFlow developer certification. The link to each of these will be given in the description so make sure to check them out. Also the article which mentions all of these is also given in the description you can have a look at that for reference. Hope you got to know something new from this video. Comment down below if I have missed some of the courses which you would like to recommend to other folks. Also subscribe to the channel to get all the latest updates related to the videos being posted regularly. And that was it for this video I'll see you in the next one.